five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, this is the almost famous Alex Bennett, and this is Alex Bennett's Ramble, and we go until midnight tonight on the East Coast of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, out to the uh, other coast of the United States we go uh, to spend some time in California with Larry Bubbles Brown. Hello, Larry. Hey, Alex. How's it going? How's it going with you, my friend? Uh, we're still alive. That's all we can hope for, I think, at this point. Yeah, yeah. As long as your uh, your your body hasn't hit room temperature, you're... Yeah, right. When we assume room temperature, <laughs> yes, it truly really is over. It's really over. I was thinking, uh, hmm. uh, as you start to reflect over your life, what, did you ever, what would you have done had you not gone into radio? Because I was trying to think, well, I had a couple of day jobs. I just hated them, and... I don't know what I, sometimes I regret getting into comedy, but I don't know what I would, mm-hmm. else I could have done, you know. I think maybe I'd become a pimp. A <laughs> pimp? You know, have a stable of hoes. <laughs> <laughs> a big Cadillac. <laughs> a big Cadillac. <laughs> and then all the other pimps would say, he's white. What? What's he doing here? Yeah. <laughs> You could have been a white pimp named Avalanche. Yeah, <laughs> Avalanche. <laughs> yeah, I'm Avalanche, and th- these are my hoes. <laughs> you know. Anyway, but what? Uh, no, what would I have done if I hadn't done this? Uh, I, you know, I always want. I well, when I was a kid, you know what I wanted to be, and this was before there was any such thing. I wanted to be an astronaut. Wow. This was before there were. It was any such thing as an astronaut, and uh, I I wanted to do that. I wanted to go into space. Yeah, well, that, that was very prescient of you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but th- then I instead went into radio. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, and I can't think of anything else I've ever wanted to do but be in show business. Okay, when I was a little kid, I wanted to be in show business. Did you ever have another job? Never. Well, I mean, you know, I drove for the Chinese Food Express in Marin County delivering Chinese food, but I don't know if we consider that an occupation. Wow. Uh, Have I ever had any other job? Not really. You know? You've been in show business full time. I started getting my first paying job in radio when I was... Gee, I think when I hit 17, a local radio station. Well, no, first, the first radio job I ever had was in Reno, Nevada. I was mentioning this to Pearl the other day. It was in Reno, Nevada for a short time. And then I came back and I worked in Marin County. And I think I was, how old was I? I was 19 when I went to Reno. And uh, so that my, my first really paying job, that you would call a job. I mean, Chinese Food Express is not a job. Working at the <laughs> Marin Motor Movies at the snack bar is not a job. That's something you do when you're a kid and you need to make a few bucks. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, no, I don't think I've... Have you ever done anything else? Yeah, I had some dead-end clerical jobs for the government. That was about it, and that's it. That forced me to get into stand-up. Just uh, a day job will kill you. I th- I think people who are in stand-up always had some kind of other job first. People who yeah. are in radio, gee, I don't know how do people how do people in those days get into radio? I don't even know how I got into radio. I just think perseverance, you know, um, it was what got me into radio. Well, that's uh, amazing. You're doing it at 19. Today, there's no radio to get into. So, you know, um, you know, they're firing people like crazy in radio now. Uh, what's left of radio? They, well, I think all of stations are in huge debt for one thing. Or... Yeah. Well, you know what they're calling it now in some some stations? They fire people and they call it relocation. <laughs> really? I'm serious. We're relocating 100 jobs. 
Yeah, where? Well, nowhere in particular, but we're relocating them. You know, we're relocating them out of here. Well, I just wonder if radio is going to be around. Well, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, it's sad because radio is really a um, um, uh, its ability to go out with one signal and get to millions of people. Uh, certainly outstrips um, the Internet in which uh, you have one stream that goes out to one person and then another stream that goes out to another person. And that takes up a lot of bandwidth, you know. So radio is is pretty much as a delivery system. It's oh, so a great, great uh, medium. But as a delivery system, forget about the medium, about using it for doing shows and things like that. As a delivery system is far more effective than the internet. You know. So what oh. the hell? You know. So. I know, it's nice to know that you're being heard all around the world. Of course, you know, there are only twenty three people, but they're, they're around the world. <laughs> you know. So. Well you just see these uh these great stations out here are now like they're they're selling hours of their time to people to sell vitamins and crap like that. It's just unbelievable. It's gotten down to that, huh? Yeah, KGO on the, on the weekend. I think you can buy three hours for five hundred bucks an hour or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we should talk for a second about KGO. This is an amazing story. This was a station that for what thirty five years was the number one station in the Bay Area. And then one day, the rating systems decided to change their methodology. And all of a sudden, they weren't number one anymore. And then they were like number five. And then they were number 10. And now they're not even on the map. I mean, but they, they used to be such a predominant station in the Bay Area. Uh, Huge. And, and now they're nothing. Nothing. They're, they're yeah. absolutely nothing. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, do you know what the number one station is in San Francisco? Uh, probably a sports, I would guess KNBR. Nope. Ready for this? Yeah. KQED. <laughs> You're kidding. Really? <laughs> that, the ra- that had no listeners. KQED Radio. Is the number one? It's by the way, for people who don't know, it's the NPR station in San yeah. Francisco. Mm-hmm. It, uh, it's nonprofit. It is the number one station in San Francisco. Now they didn't realize how many listeners it had until the rating system changed, and they decided to include nonprofits. They weren't including nonprofits in their methodology. When they started including KQED in their methodology, all of a sudden it was number three, and then it was number two, and now it's number one. That's incredible. Now, there's no other no other uh, nonprofit station in the United States that is number one in their market. But in San Francisco, KQED, you know, who knew? <laughs> what was I beating my brains out for at 6 o'clock in the morning on a commercial radio station when I could have gone over to KQED and done pledge breaks? <laughs> Would have been a lot easier. <laughs> Remember the time I ran for uh, for board uh, at uh, KQED? Yeah. To, to get on that the was board? Hilarious. Boy, was that a fix. There was no chance of me winning, even though I had, you know, a lot of people voting for me. Because I had a radio show and I could plug it, but they found some way around whatever to make sure I didn't get in there. Because I said when I got in there, what I uh, the things I were, was going to do. Th- uh, this was for the TV station, because KQED had a uh, had a had a, had a studio that was uh, given to them by somebody the the facility, and it was like a giant warehouse, but it had been changed into a studio, and it had the largest sound stage for TV of any station in in San Francisco. So they rented it out for commercials and things like that. Well, one day the head of KQED decides, I want a nicer place. So they went and spent millions and millions of dollars to build this facility across town that didn't have near the, the studio space this one did. But, man, it was luxurious. And I just said, that was a complete waste of money. When you've got a, you know, you to begin with, you're a nonprofit. 
And you're, okay, so you're in this old warehouse that was now turned into a studio that was now the biggest sound stage in San Francisco. What's wrong with that, you know? You're non-profit. You could work out of a goddamn toilet. You know, you don't need the front, the facility, the you know, the, the, the uh, uh, kind of facility that you had um, uh, in this new place because who are you trying to impress? You know? So. Uh, but I didn't win. So that was that. It was rigged. It was rigged. <laughs> Fraud at the polls. A fraud at the polls. Yeah. Are you following I, what's going on in this country? I try to avoid it. <laughs> you know something? You're lucky. If can you avoid it though? Have you been able to avoid it? Uh, you can if you uh, if you avoid. Well, I don't watch much TV at all. Okay. I'm in the car, you hear the radio. If you just punch around, there's uh, you get so much talk radio, so you got to avoid that. Yeah, because I'm sure... You'll, in, feel, you'll feel better if you avoid it. I'm sure in your car, there's only an AM radio. <laughs> I think I do have FM. Oh, you think you do have FM? You just don't know how to get to it. <laughs> um, well, you know, I mean, you you are... You live kind of in a societal avoidance existence, I would say, right? I do. I the, got into hmm? I got into stand up to actually avoid people. Let's get away from the day job. And, yeah. Uh, and you don't care about technology. No, I think if I understood it, maybe I would, but I don't have that type of brain. So. Well, the issue, it, look, it's, this stuff is made for idiots to work. Yeah. You know. Well, that is true, right? If it's made for the masses, uh, I should be able to figure it out. In case, in case you haven't listened to my meanderings with Larry, uh, let me just tell you that this is a man who does not have a modern cell phone. He still has a flip phone. I get the flip. I'm su I'm surprised it still works. Works very well. It, yeah, but uh, you know, sometimes you know they have changed the methodology for having you get a signal into a phone, uh, where it's much better. But you don't, I think, have things like 4G in your phone. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but uh... it doesn't work. It just is. But well, most people don't use smartphones as a phone anyway. Well, yours isn't a smartphone, is it? It, it doesn't have any of the apps or anything like that on it, right? It, it can text. It can take pictures, not very good ones. Yeah, yeah. And I have offered him a, a phone, an old one that I you know, am no longer using, that's still very, very good. Uh, and... and uh, if he if he would just go out and investigate getting service, and you haven't, have you? No, I've had like there's like four or five people I know begging me to take iPhones. They want to give me. <laughs> yeah, I just shun them. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, 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 you know, right now instead of talking to you on the phone, I could probably actually see your picture. Yeah, but well, no, that would probably be a negative. So. Uh, <laughs> but but. No, I could with your current phone. I can see a picture, but you have to go down the street to have it developed before I can see it. <laughs> one hour photo. <laughs> one hour photo. One one hour video photo. I I just you know I mean I, and we've tried, Larry. God knows we've tried. You also you say other people have offered you phones. Yes. You know the one thing I wish I I would like to get high speed internet. That would be nice. You. you do you, the, can you get it in your apartment? Uh, according to AT and T, not very well. Uh, I think I think Comcast come in, but they're going to have to drill a bunch of holes and stuff. Well, let them do it. Then I can. Then maybe if if your computer has a camera, we could see you. Mm hmm. Boy, you sound impressed by that. I don't like to be seen. You, you don't like to be seen. Oh, wait a minute. Let me let me let me think about this for a moment. He's a comedian. He's on stage. <laughs> I got in the wrong business. He he uh, uh, he goes on TV shows and does his act. Um, hmm. And you don't like to be seen, huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like Betty Davis. <laughs> I mean, people could see you. I mean, it, it, believe me, they will not be let down by what they see. A depressed turtle. Do you remember when you when you uh, did you grow up at all in the days of just radio? No. There was TV when you were born, right? I, I, oh, oh, we've just lost him again. Oh boy, poor connection. Oh, is that what it says? Let me try him again. Here we'll call him back. Do, 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 do. And Larry is unavailable. Huh. Well, here, let me uh, just stop for a second, and we'll we'll, we'll see if we can uh, we can get a hold of him. Okay. All right, we we got Larry, I think. Yeah. Hi, Larry. Hey. Welcome back. We're back. You started to say, "Do you remember?" And then the went yeah. down. No, no. Do you remember? Do you remember? Uh, were, did you listen to radio when you were growing up? I mean, in other words, like when I grew up, the only thing we had was radio. We didn't have TV. Okay, but you had TV, right? Yeah, but we did listen to radio too. Yeah. And and do you remember how you would listen to somebody you really liked, and then one day you would see a picture of him, and you couldn't figure out how that voice came out of that person? Exactly, yes. You know? I mean, it, do you remember that? Because I remember it implicitly, that I would look at, that would hear somebody on the radio, and, and I'd look at a picture of him, you know, and he looks like Casper Milk Toast. Yeah, I think about that. When you hear a voice, you kind of conjure up a vision of what they look like. I yeah. don't know why you do that, but then uh, and they never look like what they sound like. In fact, when I first went to work in San Francisco, um, they started taking a lot of pictures of me and stuff like that and put me on TV, and I started wearing a hat and dark glasses because I didn't want anybody to know what I looked like because I wanted people to relate to me as the voice, not as the visual. Mm-hmm. And after a while, I gave up on that. But uh, the, it, the, the problem I always had when I was a kid, I could not put a, a voice together with the picture that they would show me, the photograph they would show me of that person. Now, in your case, if we showed people what you look like, and they can see that because I put a picture up of you while we're doing this on the air... <laughs> um, uh, it, it's no I let... Look like I... You look just like you sound. <laughs> So, anyway, <laughs> that's our Larry Bubbles Brown. He looks like he sounds. That should be your new slogan. I look like I sound. You know? <laughs> that's a, that'd be a good name for an album. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, what, what, what's in your act lately? You're doing the same. How? What's the oldest piece of material you're still using? Uh, well, someone stole my identity now. His life sucks. It's at least 12 years old. I but. use that one all the time, and I quote you on that. It's a, yeah. good, it's it, a good opening line, though. kind of sets a tone. Um, yeah, yeah, now his life sucks. Okay, so that maybe is the oldest one? That's probably the oldest one, yeah. Uh, okay, can I ask you what the newest one is? newest one is I've actually, I'm trying to get away from some of the one-liners, so I actually started telling some stories, even though I'm not a good storyteller, but uh, like things that interest me, like the guy that, uh, this, and the audience has seemed to like this story about, uh, is, do you remember Lawn Chair Larry? Lawn Chair Larry. Yeah, he, uh, it's 1982, he, uh, he and his girlfriend got a lawn chair and they bought 40 weather balloons, filled them with helium, <laughs> and uh, yes, he sorry. was... He thought he was going to go above, like, rooftop level and float around L.A., and uh, he shot up to 14,000 feet. <laughs> he had a... He had a uh, there's a, a TWA... Uh, this is actually on tape. A TWA pilot flying in LAX says, we have a man in a lawn chair with a gun at 11,000 <laughs> So then he started. He started to shoot the balloons out because he wanted to come down. He's getting above the oxygen level, and he he shot three balloons out. Then he dropped the gun. <laughs> so the balloons started. The chair started to fly out over the ocean. They thought he was going to die. Then it blew back in, and the balloons slowly started to deflate. And he actually made kind of a soft landing in someone's backyard. Oh, geez, Almighty! That's a great story. Yeah. 
That's... Great story, and he uh, he was on Letterman and it was, did a bunch of TV, and then uh, <laughs> then I add this to the story, which bummed everybody out, but it was funny. Uh, two years later, his girlfriend dumped him, so he went out in the uh, woods and shot himself. Really? That's Lawn Chair Larry. Wow, wow, and that's your latest piece of material. That's my latest piece of material. It just, I would love, it's so sad that the, because everyone has, everything's over documented with phones and pictures now. There's actually no photos of this. So the fact that he just thought he was going to float around at 30 feet and the thing shot up like a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. But he went out over and the. And he had no seatbelt either. He's just sitting in his lawn chair. At 11, it was over 11,500 feet. I can't believe it. Eleven thousand five hundred feet is om- is over two, almost two, about two miles. Uh, close to three. Yeah, it's over two. Yeah, you get. Uh, and I was trying to think. You lose three and a half degrees for every thousand feet you go up. So it must have been getting cold. Yeah. And then he ca- then he committed suicide. Committed suicide. His girlfriend left him, and he. Uh, so he was a true romantic, I guess. I mean, after surviving that. You know, he should have just said, "Okay, that's it. All right. You know, I'm, uh, I'm okay." Yeah, that would have been cool to have done something like that in my life. I would love to have done something like that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, anyway, so so we we were. You asked the question earlier. What would you become if you hadn't gone into this? What would you have Mm become? Uh, well, I dream as a kid was to be a baseball player and. uh, I could hit, but I couldn't run or field, so that was out. I wanted to be a, I actually read medical, I kind of wanted to be a doctor, but I was, uh, I was such a hypochondriac, I just read these medical books and think I had everything I was reading about. So. Yeah, yeah. Now you would have, you probably, I would have thought you would have been a good doctor. Why would I have you been always, a good doctor? You had an interest in medicine. Yeah, but I, you know, I, there, there's, there's something terrible about medicine. First of all, yes, you do help people. Ta-da. Okay, that's very nice. But then there are people that die on you. you know? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I asked my doctor that. I said, don't you have people that die? She goes, yeah. It's very sad. It's very sad. Yeah, but, I mean, I don't know if I could take that. Now, I knew somebody that went into being a, a baby doctor. And I said, why? And he said, because there's l- usually... I, I went into it, he said, because I thought there'd be less having to deal with death. But it's not true. You know, babies die as well. And then it's even yeah. sadder. You know, so, I mean, it, 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 uh, I, I don't think I could have become a doctor. And I, I, it takes too much studying to become a doctor. And you got to go through too much. I don't have that kind of, I, I haven't got the time, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What I always wanted to be, okay, you asked what else would I be doing, Mm -hmm. and it's very similar to what I am doing. I would have become an actor, okay? In fact, I I started out to be an actor. Well, uh, yeah, that's why you've got so much uh, knowledge of movies. And then I went, what I did is I couldn't, you know, I, I was acting in local theater and things like that, but, you know, I saw it as a, uh, a, a difficult road to hoe, and so I wanted to take the shortcut. What I figured is I would get into radio. If I did really well in radio, somebody would ask me to act. And so I went into radio, and I became, I think, fairly successful in the radio business, and nobody ever asked me to act. Oh, my God. So, so much for that, right? And you met a lot of great directors, too. They could have helped you. Yeah, yeah I could have, yeah. Uh, no, I, and I'm trying to think. Uh, Robert Downey Sr. wanted me to be in a movie he was making called Greaser's Palace, uh, but he couldn't. He couldn't afford to fly me out to Arizona to shoot it, so I no. missed being in that. Okay, uh, that was Robert Downey Sr. Folks, yes. That's so funny. And you said Robert Downey, his kid was uh, hanging around you when you guys were in New York. Oh, we we I went out to lunch with the kid. When he was like five, when right? When he was like five, maybe six, seven years old, yeah. And there was there was Bob and his, his son. And in true Hollywood fashion, I keep saying to myself, was I nice to him? 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but well, yeah. He had one of my favorite quotes, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, says, Every, yeah, anybody can act, a few can direct, nobody can write. <laughs> That's uh, true, right? Uh, I guess. You know, there's some good writers. There's some very good writers out there. There's this guy from New Zealand now, Watiti Kiki, I can't remember his name now, did Jojo Rabbit. Great writer. Great writer. Uh, he'll probably win the Academy Award on Sunday for uh, best uh, best screenplay. Oh, okay. Well, actually, this will run after that, so people will find out whether I was right or not. <laughs> you know. Hey, listen. I've got a copy. I've got a copy of Jojo Rabbit, so I should watch that. Oh, you do have it? Yeah, you know, yeah. I got one of the screeners from SAG. Yeah, I have. Oh, you 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 belong to SAG? Yeah. Oh, so you get the screeners every year. The screeners, yeah. Oh, watch it. You'll love Jojo I Rabbit. Will. You'll love okay. Jojo Rabbit. It's a comedy about Hitler. <laughs> that sounds whole, that sounds better than Hogan's Heroes. Yeah, no, it's really it's a it's a really good. I it, one of my favorite movies of the year. That in 1917. You know. Okay. So anyway, uh, hey, listen, we've run out of time. It just flies. No, I'm talking about in life. I'm about to die. <laughs> that too. I've run out of time. And we've run over, too, which is nice, because I enjoy talking to my friend. Hey, you too, Alex. And You're your, best. your friend, too, Larry Bubbles Brown. Thank you, Larry. Thanks, Alex. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And that's our uh, our little uh, uh, to do with uh, Larry Bubbles Brown. Um, boy, that got a little, a little. If I turn this up too much, it distorts my whole thing. I, I, that's what I don't like about this sound board I've got here. Is it does that? But anyway, if I watch it, it's never it never goes over. Otherwise, uh, it distorts. Anyway, let me see here. Let me um, let me bring. Uh, let's see if we. Who we're going to get on here tonight? Let me. Uh, by the way, I talked to um, some of you were listening last night. Kathleen called me on the phone uh, during the show and said, "Oh, my father, I got a problem with my father," and she was crying and all of that. And everybody here felt really bad about it. So let me just tell you, I talked to her today, and what it was really all about was that her father broke it, bro- broke his knee. All right, and. Uh, uh, she was, but she was distraught about it because she loves her father dearly, and uh, so um, that was um, that was that. And I just wanted to let you know that, so you wouldn't think that like he had died or he was in some kind of horrible condition. Uh, and uh, I just I didn't want to pass it by all of you. Let me just turn this on here, so you can see that the uh, the the light is lit, and I'll wait for people to call here. Oh, let's see. Tomorrow I go in for my, uh, oh, well, hold on a second. I'll mention this in a few minutes here. Let me see here. First of all, there's Charlene is calling. Charlene, there you go. Get yourself, uh, get yourself together there. There we go. Uh, let me see here. Let me get uh, uh, Charlene here. There we go. Is she there? Yeah, there we go. And then I do that, and then you can see Charlene. Hello, Charlene. How are you? Oh, God. my I haven't used my tripod in so long. I forget how to, like, use this thing, well, but I'll be all right. You're, I'll you're, you're, you're making us dizzy. Oh, sorry. I'm and trying God, to get the light right so I'm not too bright. God knows I have enough problem with dizziness as it is now, so, you know. Um, well, Alex, I'm glad that... Um, you know, it's been going well for you, you know, so far, right? Well, so far, you know, it, it each, uh, the, uh, I was saying, hey, it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, and then I did the fourth, the third day, and for the last couple of days, I've been feeling some kind of effects from it, more than I uh-huh. have. Uh, like after it, effects? Yeah, just basically being tired, uh, and uh, my stomach was kind of fidgety, okay, and uh, let me see here. What else? And uh, yeah, and then you know, it's hard to pee. So outside of that, I'm, I'm okay. And uh, let's see here. We got Phil, so we have to give him a spot here, or maybe we don't have oh, to. Oh boy, we, here comes Phil. Yeah, here comes Phil. Here comes Phil. Yeah, here comes Phil. Yeah, Alex. Yeah. What? How many of those Imagine shirts do you have? That's it. 
just the one? Yeah, I just never wash it. No, I, I, I uh, yeah, no, this is the uh, this is the one that I have. Uh, really? Because yeah. I thought you had another color one too. No, I have a couple of I have a couple that were for. Uh, 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 wait a minute. It, it's a lot of noise coming from you, Bree. Oh, there we go. Uh, Maybe uh, it's from that vent above his head. Uh, yeah, um, uh, Bree, can you hear us? Yes. It's some kind of it's fan like or something that we're hearing. It's kind of. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. it's my computer. It's your computer. You mean it's that noisy? Let me see here. I'm trying to figure out which one of these is you. None of these is you. Yeah, it's... Uh, hey, man, I'm having trouble finding sometimes you Sometimes when I open new programs and got a bunch of things going on... Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. It, um, <clears throat> it, okay. it gets, you know, Come ramped on. up. Come on, where's Bree? There's Bree, finally. Guys, it sort of gets I ramped up. Okay. He's going on a job interview or something? Or? No, I, so, I don't, I don't sure. think so. Uh, but there he is. It's your... It's your other computer because it's the one where we get the square picture there uh let me see oh, here got that what is it called again when this background is all blurred out oh he, yeah he's got the uh let's blur out the background thing going for him too on top of that don't want us to see how messy your room is huh that's yeah, right yeah and phil wasn't with us last night because he was out beating up on old people yeah 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 what, what, you were at the photo club with all those old folks who, and then you'd like take first place and then you kick them in the balls. Uh, I'm the print chair. So, uh, I, the judge, uh, organized the prints set them up on the tour. And so what I do is an integral part of the meeting. Mm -hmm. And I have to, I have to be there on the first and third Wednesdays of the month. Yeah. Um, and no one, young enough to to and strong enough to lift the viewer onto the table yeah oh i see okay and there is uh now there's somebody else calling here let's see who this is i'm suspicious about this one uh hello who's there who is this this is ray oh hi ray oh ray I, I, you didn't even have your normal ray thing no, there no i, I account with my real name i think a, a new account with your real name no it's yeah. something really strange now it's uh it's like uh let's see here c i d 21 d 0 1 5 6 8 b d e 9 2 9 f a okay i have no idea what that is yeah well that's what I'll it have to is go in and fix it. yeah okay. I, I would say you need to fix it <laughs> charlene's yeah. got her hand up yes charlene well, Rob is here. Rob, is Court TV back on the air or something? Like in another incarnation? I, I don't know. It, I know that it turned into True TV. Yeah, because I don't know how I know this. I got, my husband won like a, a Samsung TV, like at Christmas time at his job, like 55 inch 4K. Is it 4K? Yeah. Yeah, right? 4K. Yeah. yeah, so it's got all the bells and whistles now and all this. So, like, um, you know, it's really nice. Yeah. And somehow, I don't know what I was flipping through or whatever I was doing. And somehow, I think now they're calling something Court TV-ish or something. And then I thought of you when I saw that. And now you're back on, so that's how I associate it. I haven't, seen, but, I, you know, I, I haven't seen Court TV anywhere. Have you, Rob? <clears throat> been a participant. They have I wish they'd bring that back on, though, because I used to love Court TV. You know, I, I think of you because, you know, you used to work for them and all that. They have a website, CourtTV.com, and... Um... Yeah, there seems to be. And Alex, remember uh, somebody asked you about your gilded frame down there, you know, behind you? Mm -hmm. I noticed my mother always asked about that. And I think you said it was Marjorie's family picture. There's another picture that you added down there. Is that like a Marjorie picture? No, it's, a, it's always been down there. The one with Marjorie over there in the corner years ago. Is it Marjorie? In yeah. Picture black and yeah, white? When, oh. she, when she was uh, a, a glamour girl. Yeah. Oh, really? yeah. Let's see that. Can you? Can you? Oh well. Yeah, you have to get I don't. Up. I, 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 have, to I, I, I Come on. I'm. I'm, I'm okay. too. Fa Sorry. I'm too fatigued Sorry. from the. Uh, uh, from the uh, radio activity. So. Yeah. This is the world that we live in. What? So. You know, I can I went, say something? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Oh. Albert was. Uh, Albert, Rob. <laughs> Rob was gonna say something. I, I, I'm on the Core TV website, and they have a logo 
because it's 25 years since the OJ trial, right? Yeah. Right. Have a logo, OJ 25. And it's the OJ Simpson murder trial, and it's on demand, so you can actually oh, watch yeah, the trial. The but thing. I mean, come on. It's just like. That must be really making them a lot of money. Well, I mean, it, it put Core TV on the map. I was there for that. Speaking of making money, let me just announce oh. that. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. Okay, but well, wait a minute. Let me tell the story. Um, well, I was looking for the commercial, and I didn't see it. No, you didn't Go see ahead. it. Well, who knows? Uh, it, uh, it, it is there. Uh, the uh, what happened was is I got over a thousand people. In fact, uh, we hit the thousand twenty-five. I think we got something like two hundred people in two days. How much did it cost? Didn't cost a penny. All those are real, real people. Okay, and um, uh, when you get a thousand people, you then get to be a um, um, what do they call it? A I don't know. Something. Yeah, and you get to monetize your channel. So I have put started to put commercials at the beginning, commercial at the beginning and a commercial at the end of every program, which after five seconds, you can click and go skip and just go right to the show. Get the same money if they skip or you get. More I have money. no idea. I don't expect I'm going to see a penny for any of this. And if in a couple of months I don't see something like three cents, I'm yeah, not going to do no. it. If uh, if you know that by hitting skip doesn't get you as much money as not hitting skip, then we should all not hit skip. I think it is just that the commercial runs. James Hall just said, I saw the commercial when I clicked on a rerun earlier. So, you know, I, I told it to uh, to run the commercials at the beginning and the end of the show. I can run them during the show, too, but I, I don't want to do that, you know. Yeah, that would be annoying. Alex. That would kind of be annoying and interruptive and be against the flow of what this uh, program is all about, which is sheer boredom. Uh, and uh, so anyway, so I, I, and I put a thing up and I said, does anybody mind me like doing this? Hour. And everybody was very supportive about it, saying, if you can make money off of this in any way, uh, uh, go ahead and do it. You know, I, 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 I'm willing to bet you I make three and a half cents, okay? Have you noticed how aggressive some of the commercials are on on the internet now, they yes, just I've noticed keep coming that. at you, and they and you can't get rid of them, and you and you got to drag them down and over and no. press. No, I haven't. I've no noticed new ones with a little tiny X that you can yeah. keep, keep clicking, right. and it doesn't go away. Yeah, they're much more expensive. Yeah. Well, there's some very, there's something wrong with your sound tonight, Phil. It seems to be uh, uh, <laughs> pulsating. You know, it seems to be. Uh, affected by other people talking and stuff like that far more than it usually is. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's thing. What thing? Uh, spit guard. What spit guard? <laughs> oh boy. I thought that was a windscreen or something. No, that's that's really what they call them. They he don't call them. They don't call them spit guards. That's what you get when you go to like a buffet. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and they, they have a they call it sneeze guard. Yeah. Yes, uh, Charlene. You know, I hate to make every because you know how last night you said Alex that you watched him, you know, uh, do the, you know, that thing with Nancy Pelosi ripping and. I don't like, want to get. I don't want to get into that yet. Well, you I know, really, I really. Well, I watched today and I. Got I said it. I don't want to get into it yet. All right. Sorry. Okay. That's, see, that's why I don't call so much. Yeah. I do that. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just irritate everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> because I'm thoroughly upset with this country. Okay. I know. I'm thoroughly upset say, with it. But I'm sorry. In fact, I'm watching. I'm watching Harriet, which is the movie about Harriet Tubman, which, by the way, is very good. Uh, we haven't. I wa watch that. We didn't watch all of it tonight because Marjorie had to get to sleep, but it's very good. <laughs> And um, Black History Month. and the actress who stars in it, this Evio, and I can't remember her last name now, Chapman or something like that, is a British actress who is also on this thing called The Outsider on HBO, uh, is just terrific. But what it said to me was, you know, when we look at each other, Marjorie and I, and say, what has happened to this country? It's become horrible, you know. We suddenly look at something like slavery and go, well, it never was that great to begin with, you know, and and really that's true. I think we've had a very ugly history, 
yeah. for the most part. You know, I yeah, yes, Ray. I was saying the same thing to Katie today. I said, you know, it's like for most of my life growing up, this country has been fairly decent. But then I think back, you know, with the slavery and the Indians, and now this again, we got stuff. kids in yeah. cages. It's like we went through a little time there. Where we were pretty, pretty good, and now we're starting to go back to being awful again. Uh, uh, selective memory. You know, there was thing called colored water fountains, colored bathrooms. How's that selective memory? Well, I was well, just saying that, that happened. How is that selective memory, memory Phil? How am I being selective memory? Because I, I'm talking, I'm talking after that, better, Phil. Uh, and ha you oh, know, had been better before. No, I said, ah, okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. He's whatever, dismissing your, your feelings yeah, about whatever. things. Go ahead, Ray. Whatever. Go ahead with what you oh, were saying. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, hey, hey, Alex, you know that soundboard you have? Yeah. Just a quick thing. Sometimes I have the same one, and I get this, like, underlying hissing sound sometimes that mm. the computer is hooked up to. Do you ever have that problem? No. That's not fans. Not what at all. is it? The fans? Your 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 uh, admirers. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I wish. No, it's just like this low level. By Everybody. the way, is Br is Bree still there? Are you there, Bree? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just having a poor connection, so I had to. Try yeah, you are. Try to reduce it a little bit. <laughs> he is. You might hang up and just call again. You might get a better better uh, signal. You know, you do that. Just a suggestion. By me, um, no, but but I, uh, you know, I mean, when you consider slavery, I mean, I could go through a whole bunch of things. You go, well, wait a minute, you know, my impression of how wonderful America was was the impression that I was indoctrinated with when I went to school. You know, but if you go back and look at the history with slavery, and I go back to the fifties when I was growing up with the McCarthy hearings. And which were witch hunts. Uh, when you, if you go back uh, uh, into other times in our history, uh, uh, prohibition was a really stupid idea. I mean, we go on and on and on. You go, you know, it really isn't that. Wasn't that terrific? Um, there you go. We got Brie on again. Um, it wasn't that terrific, uh, and uh, it, it isn't that wonderful a country. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just, I'm, so I, I've suddenly said to myself, ah, fuck this country, I hate it. Yes, Albert. <laughs> Why do I call you Albert? What is my, what is, Rob? I think, um. See, two people do voices on our, on our channel now. And Rob is one of them and Albert is the other. And I don't know why when I see a microphone like that, I go Albert. To mention. Yeah. You know, can I say that? Wait, well, uh, hey, let, hold on a second. I'm talking to him now. I think Charlie. what you're feeling is it goes beyond this country. I think it's just human nature in general. I, I think as people go, people suck. This is a nasty world. What? Sucking for as long as they've been on this planet. And I think this country is probably one of the more, I yeah. don't know, the word for you know more benevolent if you will but people in general are just you know beings are just nasty Bree, nasty. Yeah. Bree when you're not Canada. Bree let me say this when you're not talking please mute yourself will you uh, because uh, I'm still having trouble Alex I'm gonna, I'm gonna try on another just give me a minute okay all right but uh, yeah uh, well, well, well you know well you you know my friend Jack Garfine said uh, I hate the human race. It's individuals that are okay. That's right. You know, right. and and if there are individual acts of heroism. There are individual acts of, uh, of 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 giving and so on. And um, uh, but most people suck. <laughs> you know. There you go. Yeah. That's why I have the negative attitude. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Mister Negative because I've been I've run across so many people who who don't follow through with what they say they're you know it's just they're not honest they're mm -hmm. you know so you lose faith in humankind by the time i've reached the age i'm at you just get to a point where you know yeah you run to people who are fucking amazing right people who are just so good and then you're you know oh there are people that they're, they're, I, they're people that i envy because they're so good 
Yeah. You know? And the attitude, their positive attitude. There are some people that I you, you envy, and then you know. But if I don't know you, mm -hmm. yeah, I, Phil, I, I do in the other category until I get to know you, Phil. Uh, see, I believe that you set yourself up for failure if you expect people to be pieces of shit. I, I, no. I actually, how are we? And I, I believe that people failing. are inherently good, and mm. it's and if you're positive to them, they'll be positive back to you. Uh, people are attracted to people that are positive, and yeah. even if somebody's negative, if you're if you're positive, they'll come over to the to to the positive side. I I have to believe that people people want to be good. People are afraid. You know, they're afraid of being hurt. They're afraid of. Uh, of, of being used. They're afraid of failure and they're, and, and fear. Well, it's wonderful to hear all this from you, Phil, but you stand up for people and, and, and an ideology, which is against every wonderful human trait you're talking about. That's what you think. No, that's you know? what I, how many here agree with me with, with what I just said? So I'm not the only one, Phil. I, make I guess we're all idiots here. Yes. I think you are. I make, my, I make my living by being positive. I make my living by wanting to do good for other people. Well, obviously, you, if you wanted to do good for other people, you wouldn't be following this boorish moron, fuck, asshole, motherfucker, cocksucker, shithead. Did I, did, was I overstating it? That's what you see, and I'm not going to try and defend it. You know, uh, because you're going to have the opinion and, and your no, view no, of no. it. No, 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 Phil, yeah. stop with that. Stop with that. I'm going to tell you something. I decided today, and uh, 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 call me, oh, uh, ridiculous for this, but today, today I came up with this feeling that I am a very religious person, okay? Now, that may amaze a lot of you. I'm a very religious person who doesn't believe in God. That's reasonable. Okay, That's and true. and I'm I'm religious in that uh, I I believe uh, and tr uh, ho uh, truthfully so that uh, in in good wonderful things about how we should treat other human beings, how we should live our lives, uh, the kind of decency that we should have. And uh, when I take a look at a guy like Donald Trump, it is that sense of my religious belief that makes me find him absolutely abhorrent. Well, I, I agree with you on, on certain facts. Uh, I have decided to mute uh, you know, left-wing wackos that keep posting anti-stuff. And I'm just going to mute them. I'm not going to cut them off. And uh, I will, you know, I'm just going to get rid of uh, Facebook friends, one, you know, left wing wacko at a time. And uh, not you, Ray. I mean, you know, there are certain people that I enjoy having their uh, their opinion, e and I, even if it doesn't agree with mine. But I've noticed that left wing people will mute or unfriend right wing people on Facebook very, very quickly. I've been unfriended by two people for just making I, what I thought was an, a, 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 a cute comment. One was Sam Van Zant, mm -hmm. And the other was, um, uh, what's his name? The band leader, a friend of yours. Uh, uh, oh, Buddy Love? No, no. Um, uh, I bought his album. Where, where is oh, 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 uh, Lee Press Lee friend? Yeah, Lee Presson. Mm -hmm. I like him very much, but uh, you know, I said something on one of his things, and he had all of these people that kind of just jump on like kids in a cafeteria, and you know, and, and they're mean, and they try to pick any little thing. So I've decided, you know, I don't want this crap in my life. Well, of course, you don't want to hear alternative opinions. No, and neither do they, and I'm happy letting them have their opinion and not hearing it. It's and, completely true on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, I, I am very happy letting them have their opinion, and I'll let my right-wing people post, and you know, I'll laugh at their gifts and uh, and so forth, and then, you know, fuck the rest of them. I, I just don't need that kind of negativity, and nobody does. And so, you know, f uh, Rob was the smartest one of all of us by getting rid of Facebook early. And, uh, you know, I think he did the right thing. I just felt well, that... Well, he got, not only got rid of Facebook, Phil, he got rid of watching the news, period. 
yeah, I don't pay attention anymore. I, yeah. I didn't. The only, you know, what I have the CNN app on my phone, and I scroll through the stories as I'm, you know, and I see, like, I saw Pelosi rip up the thing, and I saw the lack of handshake there, only because it's they have the little video on the screen. I don't watch the video. I don't read the story. I scroll up. I don't pay attention to anything. Yeah, by the way, um, uh, who had his hand up? Uh, Bree had his hand up. Yes, Bree. Yeah. Um, I take many Facebook breaks. Like, I'll, I'll go, you know, maybe two or three days at a time where I won't look at it. Um, and then over the break, the December, January, I went almost two or three weeks without looking at it or posting or doing anything feel good so i think that that's important to take breaks from it but uh, there have been times there was a time uh maybe two years ago when i went off everything i i canceled the twitter and i wasn't able to get that one back and but on facebook i deactivated it they let you come back um but twitter did not so uh and i i have instagram but seriously i haven't looked at that in a year or so. So, yeah, I think it's important to take breaks. The only you know, reason the only reason I use uh, a Facebook at this point is to just send uh, information to the viewers about the program and to post the show so people can watch it. For the most part, I don't use it for making comments anymore because I find that when I make a comment, uh, yeah, I have a lot of people who agree with me. I'm going to have a lot of people disagree with me, and I don't mind that either. What I do mind is most of the trolling that goes on. Most of the uh, yeah. the stuff where somebody will start something and then they hijack the whole conversation that's going on, and so exactly. I just don't do it anymore because it doesn't it doesn't pay to do it, you know. Yes, uh, Bree, it's hard. I, I to, it's, 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 it's hard to, 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 hard to see you. By the way, Bree, it's hard to see you, Bree, because of that window in back of you. Uh, the trolling. You mentioned the trolling. Yeah. And. Um, we, I have a WhatsApp group in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody has this. Um, I've heard of those, yeah. Yeah, and uh, one of them posted recently that uh, the, the coronavirus in Wuhan was uh, started by American consulate uh, employees or something. You know, and it's like, at a certain point, I'm, I, I want to tell them, you know, we have to keep the neighborhood WhatsApp group is for neighborhood related news and information. It is not a soapbox. It is not a personal blog. It's not a, your own radio station, you know? And so, but I haven't figured out how to construct that message yet. I, I just try to- Listen, Brie, they're not gonna listen. They're just gonna become, they're gonna troll you even more. Don't social not necessarily. I, I think because we're, we live in the same neighborhood. so. It's a matter of, I, you know, I have another friend in another neighborhood, and she took over and became the administrator, and several others agreed with her, and eventually she won the argument, and, it, you know, that there were rules, that there were guidelines that had to be followed yeah. for what you post, you know. Yeah. The only real safe social media site where people behave is is um, LinkedIn, because it's a professional <laughs> yeah. And people don't, there's no memes and there's no, it's not political at all. And that, and I have nothing to do with it because it's been a long time since I've been looking for a job. You know? It is a very powerful tool to find work. And I get a lot of people um, who uh, offer me jobs through, I constantly getting job offers through LinkedIn. So yeah. I keep it, I'm not looking for a job, but uh, it is a it is a powerful social media tool. Yeah. Professional tool. Yeah. Well, I, I, uh, I, I, they used to send me stuff, which was like, here are some jobs that are available in your category. And yeah. I'm thinking to myself, are they out of their mind? Do they really think anybody would even talk to me at my age? I don't even remember my sign-in for LinkedIn. Yeah. Uh, but no, but I can see where it's very good as a, as a, a way of looking for work. Except Actually, that, hmm? I have a friend who, a uh, really good storage guy, really smart, really good engineer mm -hmm. who uh, didn't get a job because of all the misspellings in his LinkedIn. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, take it very seriously. You have to have, like, a pristine, you know, yeah. uh, and I, it makes sense because the guy that was going to, 
And I found this out because the guy that was looking to hire him actually saw me one day and said, what's up with your friend? I was going to hire him, and I saw his Facebook I mean, his. Well, I got permanently. I got permanently banned from LinkedIn for having spelled radio with a Y. So you know, I mean, I used to get in trouble in jobs for not putting the spell check or for yeah, not putting the spell check on on my computer. I don't know why people don't have spell checks on their computers. I mean, I, I couldn't live without it. You know, yeah. it's also made me very lazy because if I can't remember how to spell a word, I will just spell what I think is the approximation of it, and then it will yeah. underline it, and then I'll go up and it, there, there it'll be. You know, it's yeah. so bad I have to ask Siri most of yeah. the time you know, <laughs> so I could get close to the word. Bree brought yeah. up that WhatsApp. Does everybody have a? Uh, uh, I have that uh, Ring doorbell. Yeah. Do you know you get like a, a thing with that, like a website thing, like that. Oh God, it's so funny. So people will put on there, uh, like neighborhood, you know, neighbors, be on the lookout for a car. And then you actually get a video of the car pulling up. And, I got a bag of food and they left this bag of food and, and people will put there, well, why don't you just eat it? That's what I do. You know, like it was the wrong never, delivery. Never eat yeah. shit you find like that. Oh, God. Keep it's the like, I'm so sick. Uh, no, people, I'm with Alex. I, I, you know, Phil, you get so into this stuff with the trolling and all that stuff. I'm no, no, I, mean, more. I don't care who argues on there or whatever. I don't get into all that stuff with that. Like, I don't delete everybody because of politics. I mean, I, I just can't stand all that stuff about sites and the Internet and all that. And, yeah. You know, oh, this one's it's Trump like, and I'm um, anti, so I'm going to delete everybody. And, you know, mm -hmm. oh, it's awful. You know, you, you've seen people do road rage. They, they do road rage because Facebook they're in rage, the public. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's Facebook road rage. But, you know, I mean, if you're driving, you see road rage. And uh, and you wouldn't do that if you knew that that was your neighbor you know, or that was your friend's mother. That's oh, true. Where I live, I have a neighbor, and I, you know, yeah. I, I think they would yeah. just rage uh, me yeah. anyway. <laughs> you're 100 percent right about that, Phil. You yeah. know, was your mother driving? You saw this old person who was driving really badly or whatever. You want to have. Yeah. Yeah, Ray, Ray's been. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ray. Yeah, I, 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 I have a heart. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Phil. Just, I, I agree with you, but I have an example. You and I have a mutual friend. I won't say his name. Uh, initials TT. He lives near you. Um, he's road raged all over my website. Uh, oh, Todd. Yeah. And I've, yeah, and I've actually had to make a list that I post. And his name. I think he's the one person on it who doesn't. Uh, you, you cut out there, Ray, for a second. Yeah. What happened to Ray all of a sudden? Uh, oh, there you he hear is. me? Yeah, now, yeah. We, now we hear you. Keep You're losing your connection in and out. You're freezing. Well, um, you know what you can do anyway. is mute these guys. You can still be friends. But That's you... what I did. I just muted him. Yeah. Well, you know, I'll tell you somebody I blocked on my uh, Facebook page. You're looking at him. Hi, Tony. You blocked me, weren't you? Uh, okay. you're, you're blocked, so I don't have to Next see you time. sending me pictures of, like, Scooby-Doo, for Christ's sake. I don't want you that. Did a while ago. I I don't need that. Jeff's getting a good kick out of this. Yeah. <laughs> you're crazy. Jeff, yeah. you're muted if you want to say something. Uh, my strategy is to put people on a 30-day goodbye. If you try that, it works pretty good. Well, you know you what? See him for 30 days. You know what I had fun with? They come back. Is on YouTube on our chat, which tonight doesn't even have many people chatting, but sometimes I'll find somebody who's just completely disruptive and he's just monopolizing the whole thing, and I can put him on a timeout. Mm. I like that. Yeah, like yeah and I love doing that. That just makes me feel so good to put somebody on a timeout, you know, because it drives them fucking nuts. Uh, let me see here. I got to get, uh, let me see, Hog Rider. Where's Hog Rider? Come on, Hog Rider, Hog Rider, Hog Rider. There he is. Okay. Okay, Hog Rider. And then I do that. And then I do that. And there you go. There's Kevin. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Oh, grab your mic down. Good. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. You notice how everybody, a lot of people doing this have the really professional microphones. The least professional microphone here is the one you can't see. Mine. And, oh, no. You got an AKG or something. It's a very I mean, good mic. A, a, well, I, the reason I got this AKG was uh, it was, uh, we had it left over from, we had one left over from Play TV years ago that I took out to New York with all the other equipment that I took from 
play TV because they owed me a lot of money, so I kept the equipment. And uh, the microphone was one of the things. And then when we went to do the show, the TV version of, of my show, originally at the TV studio, I used that microphone. And I liked the sound of it so much that I went out and bought another one, one of the more modern versions of it. And I just like the way it makes my voice sound. You know. So that what you took was a $50,000 mic? No, it wasn't a $50,000 mic. Well, yes, what? it was. It was because they owed me $50,000. But <laughs> Yeah, yeah, which I never got. Alex. They finally they finally settled because everybody got paid off, and there were certain investors that got paid first, that were first in line. So by the time they got to me and my $50,000 claim, which was completely legitimate, it was money out of my pocket, I got $300. Oh, yeah. So it's forty nine thousand seven hundred dollar mic, but yeah, you know. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's the best way of putting it. Yeah, uh, but uh, um, uh, you know, I mean, uh, so what? I need happened? a better one. I gotta get. I'm gonna replace this one. What do you mean? What's wrong with that mic? It's it's a cheapo, and I gotta talk real close to it, dude. To what do you mean a cheapo? What what brand is it? Is it the cheapo brand? It's a newer. Yeah. Niwer? Well, Niwer? It, it's a Chinese see, mic. A carter, carata, a, what, how do they pronounce it when you got that pattern that looks like a heart? Cardioid. 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 Yeah. cardioid. You have to talk close to those because they're extremely directional. It's cardioid. Why do you think it's called cardioid, Phil? Yeah. Because uh, <clears throat> you have to have a diaphragm. Yeah. What, no, you're very close. You're very close. Tell them. You know why, don't you, uh, Rob? The pattern. Huh? Pattern. It's the pattern. It looks like a heart. Yes. Pattern. Yeah. If it's a heart shaped here, pattern. Or if I talk over here, you can't hear me, right? Right. Well, uh, this one I can adjust it to do either. Like if I go over here, you can't hear me very well, but I have it so that it, you it's know, directional. it's quite directional. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't. Very so it doesn't pick up the rest of the room. So mm -hmm. you know. But anyway, uh, so much for mic talk. We. Uh, it's our That's whole it for our, Mike, our new format. All microphones, all the time. <laughs> Kevin, I use a mic like I use a mic like yours just because my house is so noisy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, that's what's good about you know when the wife comes in, I don't, I can talk to her and it doesn't bother anybody. Yeah. Um, um, the, can we uh, talk about uh, ailments? The doctor's waiting room, or no? <laughs> Why do you have an ailment that we don't know about? I'm going to have a back MRI. I'm all excited. A back about that. MRI. I see. I, they I had, I'm going to get the gel shots in my knees. I'm all excited about that. It's really? Really? Well, then you should try radiation. <laughs> I used to do jello shots. <laughs> yeah. I don't need that yet. You should, you should try the radiation. It's well, so. I have a friend that got all that. My poor friend he used to be my restaurant manager. Yeah. And then he moved back to Kentucky because he can't take Manhattan anymore. He used to work through all of this chemo and all that. Well, this and is this is this is well, to go through, you know? well, this isn't and, this isn't chemo. And this you know is, what happened to him? He's really funny. Like he laughs about it, but it's not yeah. funny though. Yeah. But uh, he had a stroke, and now he's blind in one eye. Oh, okay, good. Anyway, uh, uh, that, that, that improved the dialogue on the program. Brought it to a grinding halt. Uh, anyway. Where was I? Oh yeah. So what I was saying is, is See, that this is uh, why I never call in, and I never <laughs> hear anyone saying they miss Charlene calling in. <laughs> how's your prostate, Charlene? Yeah. yeah how's, how's your, your prostate, Charlene? I'll tell you, Marjorie. Marjorie gets up at night more than I do to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and last like night she got up friends. while I was in bed, and I said, "What's with you? You have a bad prostate." You know, I mean, I just couldn't believe it. She was like, you know, she was off prostating. Anyway, so anyway, the, the point is that uh, um, uh, radiation is a lot of fun. It actually, it doesn't, it's afterwards, like I'm starting to feel kind of the effects of it uh, more. Yeah, I'm getting like the trots and I'm getting... Uh, 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 you know, it's nothing terrible. Uh, it, you you know, the urinary stream, the mm -hmm. urinary stream, which used to be able to kill flies, now can't even kill, kill well the fruit flies that have invested our infested our home now. Um, and uh, let's see here, what's the other thing? Um, and, and the uh, I have a certain little amount of fatigue, like uh, I'll fall asleep for an hour in the hey, afternoon Alex. or whatever. Yeah, what? You ever you ever turn off the light and see if your duties glow in the dark? No, 
No, I, I, oh, you should try that. No, I, I, supposedly this this radiation doesn't do anything. It's the next radiation, the seeds, that I'm going to have to get a little card. So if I want to fly on a plane, uh, okay. they, right, they, they won't say head you're head radi head. It, you have some radioactivity on you. Everybody, get your guns out. You know, and they. I got one of those for my thingy in my back. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then they, it says that they. I read it online that, uh, yeah, they're used to that. You know, they're used yeah. to that sort of thing. So uh, anyway, so but, but it's um, it, the worst thing about the radiation. Absolute worst thing about it is oh. it's boring. It is just dreadfully how long, how boring. How long does it take? It takes them. A half hour, I think, to pretty much decide where they're going to do the thing exactly, where they're going to shoot the, the, the ray gun, as it were. And, uh, and then they say, okay, we're going we're gonna to zap you now. Uh, it'll take about two minutes. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. And then said, get up and go. What, what, what is? A computer. No, it's, a, 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 it's Echo. It's a Echo. Oh, ew, that. oh Alexa? There's something else. I think I think it might be Siri or something that's talking. I don't know. Anyway, so where was I? So um, uh, and then it's like two minutes. It's like really quick, and then I'm out of there. You know. Oh, good. And the last time I did it, I think they only did about a 20 minute setup, and then I was out of there. So it takes uh, you more time to get there and everything. Then. Oh yeah, and yeah. No, I have to get there an hour ahead of time. Well, I don't have oh, to drink now all the water and stuff. to drink the four cups of water and let it settle into my bladder for them to say to me halfway through this whole process, go to the bathroom and unload a little bit of your bladder. So what we're oh, doing geez. now is I'm getting there later and they're using taking less time to get me into the radiation so that I don't absorb as much water. Okay. Does that make sense? Well, yeah. they just have you drink less. Well, that's what I said, and they said it's better if we have you drink the four glasses because it's. If you ever try to drink four four glasses of water, and these are not small glasses of water. I feel bloated. No, it's well, like no, glasses. It's if you, how can I? Yeah, it's about a about a bigger than that, maybe ten ounce uh, cup. Forty ounces. Wow. And you I just like you I just chug a lug them and go. Okay, I only got <laughs> one more to go. Boom, <laughs> you know. Ah. And, but uh, and and then it's and then after I'm through, I have to go pee. But because I have this peeing problem, it's not strong. And then oh, I yeah. put my clothes on, and then I go go to the bathroom and pee again. But if I then want to make a stop at the store, I suddenly feel like I have this horrible urge to pee because there's so much of this water that's finally gone down to my Start bladder. Start finding out where all the bathrooms are on the way home, Alex. Well, no, I'm just gonna go. Go, I'm just gonna go straight home before going anywhere else, you know. But I mean, it, it's 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 just it's just annoying. Okay, uh, the uh, the seeds are going to be a little more annoying. You know, they have slightly more side effects and things like that. Do they but, ever come out at the end, or they just leave them in there forever? Uh, the uh, the seeds stay in me forever. Oh, wow. They they stop radiating after about two months, mm -hmm. uh, but they stay in me forever. And they also did a thing called a spacer between my, uh, my uh, prostate and my rectum to separate it so I won't, won't my, the uh, radioactivity won't affect my my rectum okay uh and that thing is this they put a spacer in there and the spacer is in there for about three months and then it dissolves and comes out in your, or something that, what, what, uh, no it's just a gel. a gel and they put it in there and, and then you then you pee it out after a couple of months if you can still pee you know mm. so it's, yeah. but anyway that's 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 what's that. that's what's going on with me and tomorrow's my Fifth day, for day four of, uh, of uh -huh. and then day five would be Monday, and then I'm I'm through You're until done. the twenty fifth. Till the twenty fifth when he does when he puts me under and inserts the seeds, you know. Oh, okay. And then a little more misery happens, and then after a little while, that the misery with that goes away. So you know, I'm, I just get it over with, and probably after it's all over with, uh, I won't have a prostate problem anymore, you know. Cancer will have been killed, but uh, and yeah. that's what Giuliani went through the same exact thing. Uh, he went through exactly what I'm going through, or he may have gone through a lesser, uh, advanced version because times have passed. Twenty years right. have passed that was since a long his. Time ago. Yeah. 
But this guy Why created the, the created the methodology that the uh, seeds and all that, that yeah. was used for for uh, for him. Yeah. Um, so uh, anybody uh, anybody have any thoughts about the passing of Kirk Douglas? I didn't know he was alive. Still. My mother's home when he died. I knew he was still alive. Yeah. Yeah. He was so young. He was so young. <laughs> 103 years. You know, you can't. You, it was a good life. Yeah. You know, I. You know, you can't go up to Michael Douglas and go, "I'm sorry for your loss." I mean, come on. You know. Yeah, but he didn't get the Medal of Freedom. Well, he didn't. Yeah, right. No, he didn't get. Yeah. You know, and he got the of life. You know, well, the Medal of Freedom now, I understand, has been so yeah. devalued that you're now going to be able to get it in one of those claw machines. Yeah. You know? Oh, I never win anything. Seven Eleven, yeah. Yeah. And you gotta get the ball of the stuff now. They're gonna have a presidential medal of freedom of honor or whatever uh, that comes out of a claw machine because it's been so devalued now that I heard you say that first, Alex. You know, Everyone's saying that. Conservatives feel that Rush uh, has uh, put a consistent. Uh, story and support for conservatives. Now you don't feel the value of his the, method. No, I see. I see that as as having. I see that as having great value. Now, wait a minute. Hold on a second, Phil. Just listen to me for a moment. I oh. said this last night, and I'll say it again. I have always said that Rush Limbaugh. I disagree with his opinion, but I felt that as a broadcaster, he was one of the best I've ever heard. Let me finish. Can I finish what I'm saying without you interrupting? Oh, it's a conversation. No, it's not. Not <laughs> oh. at this point. Not when I start talking like this. Uh -huh. Let me just explain to you, and you can listen to how, how I felt about it. And I said last night that I thought that Rush Limbaugh was, as one professional watching another professional ply his trade, just very good at what he did. Would you disagree with me on that, Rob? He's a talented broadcaster. A talented broadcaster. And I had nothing but the highest amount of respect for him as a broadcaster. As for his opinions, I felt he was full of shit. But nevertheless, can I finish? Uh, I just made a Nancy Pelosi face. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> she didn't rip it Have up. you ever looked at your friend's face? Uh, anyway, yeah. anyway, anyway, I said... That I believe that he was a, 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 a important. He's an important broadcaster. Uh, he has certainly applied his trade well. That I admired him for his talent. Uh, he was the first in the business. So please don't blame him for Sean Hannity or anybody that came after him and tried to cash in on what he had created. Okay, but the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Come on, or who gets it next? Howard Stern. I mean, come on, <laughs> give me a break. You know, you yes. say that. Wait a minute, you say right, Alex. Huh? Howard Stern. I'll yeah. tell you yes. what. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, yeah, but Howard Rob. Rob? With the birthers, we'll then. start the petition on the White House now. Rob he and Howard were very close friends before a good. I mean, yeah, I know. Yeah, but Howard didn't help Trump with that birth or thing. Howard, Howard, <laughs> Trump. Oh, that's right. Howard Stern supported Hillary. Oh, okay. Will you let right. Rob? Yeah. Will everybody let Rob talk, please? Yes, if, Rob. If. if, if if Howard didn't deviate from Trump, because now he just can't imagine, you know, that he's a, you know, the president. But if they had remained friends, Howard would have definitely gotten one of those well, as well. You know, this Guarantee is, anybody who supports him. This has been probably, this yeah. has been reserved for people who have had meritorious times in battle. Right. Uh, yes. uh, a, 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 you know, a lot of different kinds of, of reasons that gave it real value. Okay, so that when you finally got one, what? Oh, Phil, just talk, Phil. Go ahead. Well, you, you're saying it's reserved for people that uh, were in battle. This is. This I is didn't say it was reserved in battle. You wouldn't listen long enough for me to tell one you what it was reasons. for. You said it was. I for said people. one of the reasons was for people who were in battle and meritorious and did meritorious work. What Rush did was not meritorious. It was self-serving. He made a lot of money out of it, and he kept doing it. There was no right. service involved in that. He did not contribute anything to the art of America or anything else like a lot of other people who do get he this award. Trump's ass. Recently, I guess I guess he was uh, quite a philanthropist. And recently, he came up with this idea of a Betsy Ross T-shirt, and he raised $5 million that he gave to Tunnel for Towers Foundation, which is the one I participate 
And yeah, now good. my group raised a million dollars. So in four more million, I'm supposed to get the I'm supposed to get that medal. But uh, you know, uh, it, when when they gave him the medal, they didn't mention that, did they? Well, Not a damn they did, bit yep, of it. Did they mention it, Phil? Nope. No, they, no, did. they didn't. I, I heard about it. You heard about it, but did they? Did he, when he was telling him why he was getting the medal, did he mention that? I'm not sure. No, I, he I did. Just, no, he I didn't. didn't hear it. No, I he saw didn't. A lot of this. No, he didn't. I, yeah. Well, it was mentioned afterwards. It may what? have been mentioned afterwards. That's not why he got it, Phil. He got it because he sucked the teat of Donald Trump. They said he got it. Just for hey, what Donald Trump has done, he's cheapened everything in America, and now he's cheapened even something like this. It's like it's like today's uh, little conference he had today. All it was was a, a, a round robin of telling everybody that supported him that that they were great and thanks for supporting me. And your check will be in the mail. And did you hear what else they did? He did. Did you notice something? That he didn't do, um, um, uh, that he did, that he doesn't normally do at his press conferences, they played "Hail to the Chief." I know when he when he walked in. Yeah, it was like this is like I was I was looking at I was going, commu I was going. Well, I'm going to start looking at places in Canada. You know when when B Bill Clinton um, didn't get you know convicted of his impeachment, uh, he got up and he gave a speech, just like. Trump did today, but he his gave an speech, apology. his yes, his speech was an apology, an apology he, to his wife, it's an apology to the country for this thing having taken up so much of their time and their money, and he was quite contrite about it. This guy just bragged about it. He's you know, well, no, he he he, he, he didn't Democrat. brag about it. He put out a shit list. He says you're anybody that didn't help me or you're on a shit list and look Rush out. Rush Limbaugh, yeah, uh, uh, I know I mean, Rush Limbaugh. Uh, I mean. Uh, Oh God, the you know you know who I mean, the Republican, the only Republican to to ever vote. Oh, Romney. Uh, Romney. Yeah, Romney. I mean, so Romney voted. Yes, yes, uh, Rob, go ahead. He's on his shit Rob, list now, and he better watch Rob, out. Yeah. Rob is talking now. Rob. So I googled um, list of Presidential Medal of Freedom, and there's a lot. There are a ton, and you know what? If you read it, and you look at the list. You really can't fault him for selecting Rush. I was just going to say, yes. Cheetah Rivera. Well, but you, you really? can't fault uh, him the give way us, he did it. Give, the time. give us some, some wait, examples. Wait, wait, let Rob's, yeah. John Wayne? I mean, come on. The Duke? I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of them. But, but, but Rob, when were, they, when were they presented? Were they presented during the State of the Union? Phil, stop with the ripping of the paper. It's not funny, okay? <laughs> uh, uh, it's not see. funny. I can and, understand. He, and he fucking I can understand deserved it, Phil. He got it, but not during the State of the Union. Wow. The medal is, bestow is bestowed upon the recipients by the sitting president who has chosen them. However, the first recipient selected by John, I'm looking for, it doesn't tell you where it's done. Uh, it's usually done, it's usually know, done in, in a little the, ceremony yeah. off to the side. In during, the White you know, House. In the White House. It's usually uh, they're brought but, to the White um, House and they do it. What did Cheetah Rivera get it for? Somebody's a Cheetah Rivera. What did I she get, get it for? Can I ask a question? Or read them around. Film and theater. But you know, theoretically, though, even though I don't like Rush Limbaugh, theoretically, he really is a performer. So just, I mean, is his, his he's performing just like they are, really. Are we really going to say, like, that's like saying War of the Worlds when they perform that on the radio. That's not as important as a John Wayne movie. Yes. I mean, you can't yes. take one artwork yes. or full yes. theater and yes. say, hey, that's, they deserve it more than he does. I don't like his act. Kate but, Smith is a recipient. It's, um, it's actually, actually it's God bless America. The now, reason why I don't, don't like it. Because of that song. <laughs> I, I, I think you're right, Rob. It, it, it's not so much the, the, the medal itself. It's the way it was presented and where it was presented was more of anything. Well, to begin it with. It was at the State of the Union to address. To begin yeah, with, uh, that, state of, that State of the Union address was antithetical in that, I think I'm using the right word, that it wasn't a State of the Union address. It was, look at me, what I've done, and, and uh, uh, here are the reasons you're going to vote for me for president this year, rather than, ladies and gentlemen, here is the State of the Union. This is good, that is good, you know, it, it, and, and, and uh, things and are... Here's where uh, we're going to go. Here's where we're going to go, and so on. It was all bragging and getting even with people. That's his personality. And by yeah. the way, by the way, go, go on to the ABC um, app. 
they have a cut from Jimmy Kimmel's show two nights ago. Oh, and he, he did a, he, he went to the State of the Union speech, and somebody said, everybody says how dark that speech was. It wasn't dark, it was uplifting. And then he had excised every dark word that was used. And it goes on and on, things like murderous, uh, horrendous, horrible, uh, inhumane, blah, 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 blah. Just all negative words throughout the entire speech. You Can know. I say something, Alex? By the way, I didn't the, watch. I didn't watch the speech. To be yeah, honest with you, what? Point of central. What? Can I say one yes, thing? Yes, Tony. What? I'm looking at. I'm looking at the medal for of, of these medals mm. in music. I got to give Trump credit here. He's the only one who gave Elvis Presley the medal. He gave Elvis one. Fucking yay, yo, yo, my Well, I mean, come on, that's fucking disgusting. The king of rock and roll had to wait till 2018. You got to give Trump credit there. No, Domingo I don't give, over King. I don't give him yes. credit for that. I don't give Placido Domingo. I don't give him credit for giving it to Placido but, Domingo. But all these presidents, as I say, he's giving these he's things away Elvis. like like you're at a claw machine. You know. I know. You got to give it to Elvis, and not even John Lennon. Why do you have to give it to Elvis? Not even Lennon or McCartney. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ray's got his hand up. Ray. I'm fucking pissed Ray? off now. Ray. Alex. Go ahead, Ray. Question. John Lennon doesn't get the fucking to Rob, to Robin. Robin, Alex, I just, I've always heard talk show, people in the talk radio industry say how talented Rush is. Can you tell me why? Because I didn't really listen to him. I mean, well, what was it, 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 it's the way in which he, it, the way he commands the medium and uses it and, and, <clears throat> and uh, uh, has an art, uh, his way of using the art. And um, I felt that he really knew how to handle the medium. And he knew how to how to be. He was entertaining. I mean, I hated everything that came out of his mouth. But Eventually, when I listened but not to him, at first. I used what, to listen to him well, on AM radio. Uh, he got he, he got to believe too much in himself after a while. But in the early days, he was very funny. You know, not when he was yeah, Jeff I like Christie. What, 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 were, what were you saying, Bree? What? Not when he was Jeff Christie uh, in Pittsburgh, and I listened to him. I've listened to Rush Limbaugh's whole radio career, essentially, uh, except mm. when he went to the West Coast. But he was in Pittsburgh for where he started. Yeah. And uh, and later when he did his national show, I listened to him ever since. I'm not opposed to him getting the Medal of Freedom, but the I'm a, I don't like the way it was presented because I felt it was a pity party. I felt it was like Trump pitying him. Oh, he got the diagnosis. Well, better give him that that award. Uh, he deserves the award, but not under those conditions. And not I, I at the State of the and not at the I, State of the that's Union. What I meant. A pity party and they gave it to him at the State of the Union. Yeah. It was almost as if they expected him to die today. Correct. And it was like better get it to him really quick. I mean, I thought that was horrendous. He did Alex he should have, I mean, you know, he is gonna kind of probably because it's pretty bad cancer, you know, that's why he probably did it. Yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe Lennon and McCartney didn't get the medal. You know why they didn't, Tony? They don't They're not American. Oh. <laughs> oh, but you're right. I didn't think of it. But they could still Boy, give Boy, but Placido them. Domingo isn't an American either. See, okay. I mean, she's... Why did Gloria Plas Estefan, but not John Lennon. Yeah, well, jo well, Gloria Estefan's an American, Tony. I know, but... but you, if they went and talked about how great Trump was, he'd get one. Yeah. This is yeah. This. yeah. And why did he get to Elvis Presley late? You know, I mean, Elvis got it lit. What a waste of fucking Trump time that Elvis is. Elvis is the only one who got thought of by Trump. I'm all for giving Jeff the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Oh, yeah. thank you. Because of, of the many lives that he's saved as a result of his inventions. How's that, <laughs> Jeff? Is that fine? That's very nice. I mean, you thank actually, you. you save lives, right? Sure. Yeah. That's okay. Well, that's good. certainly better than Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> uh, you know. I worked. I volunteered at a dog shelter for a couple of years. Hey, get, let's get you the president. Well, listen, we're we're, we're, yeah. we're we're having them made up, but from here on in, they're going to have chocolate in the middle, so that you can like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> because we've what so. What does it look like? Is it one of those things you hang around? It your looks neck nice to you, but like a big mound. We've so cheapened it, you know that, you know. Whatever. How long do you think he's going to last, Alex? You think he'll make it for the year? Who, Who? Trump? Who, Trump? No, I mean, <laughs> Imagine 
<laughs> Trump goes to Tony full mentions lunch. that he might kick off in his sleep, and you know. Oh, I, listen, I, I, I think of that sometimes. <laughs> he, uh, he's gonna. If, uh, Trump's gonna get a stroke or die of some fat-related like thing because he's he just. Does look terrible. <clears throat> He, he looks uh, like I, he's I think that that's the, the only year. way he goes. I believe he will win the next election, mm. and I believe if he's healthy enough, he will uh, attempt a third term. Mm -hmm. uh, he yeah, he did has you see set that up. Thing? He tweeted <clears throat> that he's going to just. Well, what was that? That he's going to keep going every year. He's going to be president in, to infinity or something like right. Well, he yeah. just he just po posted something that he's going to be president forever. Something now, like now, that. How, what, something what like is that he's about? Old. He's never kidding, kidding. Or what is that? Uh, and, and I think he could, you know, uh, sign it over like, to Ivanka. Oh, uh, you're kidding. Or, you know, quite possibly. I think Ivanka will be next in line as, as the heir apparent. So the whole family will just be, the Republican Party will just pass it all There's out. There's no me. reason why they can't do that. Like There's a no monarchy? reason why. Infinity first of all, and beyond. Will, yeah. There is no 2020 election, there's no election. You well, no, just have I, to get over that right now. There's yeah. no election. Yeah, no. Because away nothing with it, is provable. If, if, if I, if I, if I uh, uh, was younger and Marjorie was younger, um, I think we would uh, do essentially what Bree has done with his life and get the fuck out of Dodge. Uh, would you go to Canada? No, I, no, I wouldn't go to Canada. That's boring. Mm -hmm. Really? No, but I mean, there are a lot of other good countries in this world to go live in, and I'm sure Bree has seen a few mm -hmm. in his time, you know. Certainly he hasn't felt that America was that great to come back and live for any amount of time, right, Bree? <coughs> yeah, I, I just think that uh, the world is a very big place, mm -hmm. and I, you know, there's a lot out here. and uh, But I've noticed that um, a lot of people, and you know, sort of like to settle in and they like the you know convenience and comfortableness of where they are mm -hmm. and uh, that's fine but uh yeah i mean the u.s it's funny because uh it, it's such a big country the fact that we have one president is kind of you know interesting that you know one it's hard to imagine how all of that is regulated and, and runs but with one president i think we kind of need several <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, let's face it. I mean, the president doesn't run everything. He hires people to join him in a cabinet who know better than he does about certain parts of the the, uh, the job, uh, and because nobody right. nobody can know it all, right? He, but they become an administrator, and they should be know how to administrate people. And uh, you know, as uh, truth would have it, Trump ran a pretty shitty company. So anyway. Uh, the, 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 the fact is, though, that you, I, you can't expect that Trump's going to know a lot about, you know, weapons and the military and so on. Uh, he was only in a military academy. But you have people close to you who know that stuff, and then you rely on them to give you good and proper advice. Now, he, speaking of that, there was this uh, clusterfuck up in Iowa um that happened which is big yeah which is is what did they finish counting these votes yet <laughs> i mean five days well I they're saw... pretty much they got like 95 percent or something like that oh my God. and buddha judge so actually your came... guy he your guy, guy now. Now. what otherwise who your what? guy is winning it all yeah buddha judge Bud... <laughs> well buddha <laughs> he's a winning it all i mean it's close. It's very close. But he did much better than anybody thought he was going to do. Before I came to the listen to your show start, he uh, Sanders was behind Buttigieg by two uh, votes. Uh, it was like five forty-two to five forty. Uh, yeah, I mean it's a tie, but still, who would have thought Buttigieg would have come out in the top three a couple of months ago? Uh, he from a close state to to Iowa and. Uh, oh, to a Democratic caucus, isn't that? And good? he's only a mayor, but a judge. Yeah. yeah, that is a good showing. I mean, that's very good. It's a very yeah, good. I thought he was going to finish third. That would and either I, vote for Bernie or Buttigieg. Yeah. So I mean, that's uh, you know, that's 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 pretty good. And Biden's so far behind, he may as well start stop thinking about you know, running. Running. Uh, well, he's and, in South Carolina. Elizabeth Warren, I think, is kind of toast. Um, but I think that, you know, it's between Buttigieg and, uh, and Bernie. 
And quite frankly, I think of the two, the one who could come closest to beating Trump is Buttigieg. Uh, I think he his youth, he looks Elf on a good. Shelf. What? Elf on a shelf. Yeah, but I mean he he has a uh, he has a winning personality. He looks good. Uh, you put him up next to Trump, and it's a nice, young, fresh-looking guy and a dumpy guy wearing a tie too long on him and his belly hanging over his belt buckle. There's, there's a I, I just chasm. feel don't Wait know up. enough about Buttigieg. Something's coming out. Well, but that's I, possible. I, I, well, oh, that didn't come out. There's always there's something coming out. Chasm. We don't know enough about him. He's not seasoned enough. Okay, uh, uh, Rob wanted to say something there's here. There's a big chasm between New York and Los uh, California, and in that middle of that, no one is going to let a gay man be president. I'm sorry. I think he might be a great candidate, but it's just never going to happen. And I maybe just say the woman in Iowa, millennium. she found out he was gay. She wanted to take her vote back. Who did? Never going to happen. There was a There's woman a in Iowa. I, I heard she about that. She voted for him. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I, we, we said a black guy would never be president. We said a black guy would never be president. And uh, the next thing we're saying is that, well, a woman, uh, uh, women are going to be so be upset. You know, it's like any man can seem to get uh, uh, nominated, but only the men are winning. You know, well, at least he's got a chance to run. Like if a woman, woman got a chance to vote back. Uh, it would have been a dead heat between uh, Sanders and Buttigieg uh, because it was only a two-vote difference. So that would have you know, it, voted for Sanders. Crazy, that, lady, too. that would have given you uh, a, uh, a dead heat. Well, you I mean, never say never, though. But we'll see. You know, every vote counts. But it, it, so it's a dead heat. Nobody expected it would be a dead heat with Buttigieg. I, I don't think so. That I don't think Iowa and New Hampshire are going to matter that much. No, but they set they 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 set the table, okay. Uh -huh. That's what they do. Uh, and we used to they, say doing the morning radio show was setting the table for the rest of the day. He said that sets the table for the rest of the election. You know, if you can get out of Iowa, and you can get out of New Hampshire with a good head of steam, you can probably hit South Carolina or where is it? North Carolina. What's next? Carolina's uh, after that. Yeah. That's uh, why it's bad that Bloomberg didn't do either the Iowa thing or something. Is yeah, he in he, New Hampshire now? You know, he's in I, South yeah, Carolina. He's in Carolina. In Iowa, even though he wasn't on the ballot. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take off. Oh, okay. We can't see you anyway, but yeah. Work. yeah. Goodbye. See you later. There, there he goes. And let's see if he freezes. There he goes. He freezes. And we'll leave him there because I'm too lazy to take him off. I mean, I could. But I'm not. I keep to. putting my hand up, Alex, because I happened to see that thing this afternoon. Mm -hmm. What was it like? Where he didn't say he was sorry the way Clinton did after his. Uh, well, he, you know, he, he, I, I, it would be nice to see once in a while to see Trump not be. Yeah, but we know he never said Can I finish sorry. what I was saying? Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. He asked me I a question, sorry. and now I'm answering it. Uh, he, okay. uh, it would have been nice if he surprised all of us with a certain amount of contrition and saying, I'm sorry the American public had to go through this, okay? I didn't think it was fair of the Congress to do it, but I'm sorry. I apologize to the American public that it even had to happen in the first place. Just some kind of contrition. But you're never going to hear that out of the man because the man doesn't have it built into his DNA, what he's got built into his DNA is a snake. He's not a guy. He's just not a good guy. He's not he's a good a guy. He's guy. not a good guy. That's the yeah. point. Yeah. I mean, when you get up there, come on. Look, we all know, you know, what he should have done with Romney, what I would have done if I were him was to say, well, you know, we had one Republican who went over and voted for the other side. And, hey, you know, he has a certain belief in God, and that made him do it. So, uh Okay, fine. But why go after him? It's all you won. You don't have to go after him. And Romney, you know, uh, I, 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 he won me over a little bit, you know, because I mean, he did a he did a McCain there for a moment. Exactly. Uh, I'd vote uh, for him. Huh? Mm. What? I'd vote for him. Well, well I, I don't know I'd if I'd vote for him because I don't. Vote last if, time for him. If the Republicans had any balls and they could put up a president to run again or a candidate. Put him up now and I'd vote for him, and I'm not a Republican, I, right? I, I'd vote for him over the Democrats because uh, any I, I'd want to send my votes to anybody who would beat Trump. Well, you know, I mean, here's a Democrat. guy. Here's a guy who said, "I believe in uh, believe in God, uh, a profound belief in God," 
And that profound belief makes me real, feel that this is not a, the right thing. That is not a... Getting, wh what? Are you forgetting his speech prior I to... I don't know. I, we're not going back to that, well, Phil. It doesn't that, matter. That, it doesn't he, matter. That's not what... That, God, but that, he that, hates Trump. That's not what we're talking about, I Phil. We're, that's not what... Phil, he took a stance based on, as he said, his religious belief and that he had to give an honest vote. And I think I think the fact that your people wouldn't allow any 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 witnesses to be heard, any kind of real uh, trial to go on there, is uh, abysmal. And they're going to pay for it, Phil. Yep. They're going to pay for it in spades when it comes to the election. Okay? You lost. It's an excuse. You just come. Oh no, up we didn't lose because come November we're going to have a few we're going to have a few more senators in office than we have now. You see what we've de degenerated into? These discussions about you lost, it's an excuse. Look, in any trial, yep. Phil, in any trial, you call witnesses. Otherwise, you're not getting the story, right? right? The so, Democrats called witnesses. They had 17 witnesses in the House. They could have, they waited a month before they delivered the papers. They were in such a big hurry to, to have an impeachment. Phil, Christmas, that has nothing to do with it. That was that was then. This was, Phil, that was then. This is now. They, they No, they, they were running a trial in the Senate, and the senators there should have had to listen or been able to listen to whatever people had to say who were witnesses, such as, uh, what's his name? Um, Bolton. Bolton. Hey, the... the what were you? What were your guys afraid of, Phil? They're not afraid of anything. They were afraid that they were going to hear the truth. Due process. Why should he put up witnesses? Due process. There wasn't due process going on there. Due process would have been to call witnesses on both sides and to hear what they had to say. That would be due process. Alex, why? I don't want to yell over you, but why should he? put witnesses in when it was the House's job to put a case together, and their case sucked. It didn't rise Phil, to the level. Phil, after he was and indicted, yes, after, he was I, in, is in, well, after he was indicted, which is what impeachment is, the president was indicted. They then hold the trial, hold on a second, they hold the trial in the Senate. And at that point, it is his job, among other things, to defend himself. That way, man, hold on a second, Phil. If he wasn't there, if he wasn't supposed to defend himself, why did his lawyers take up 18 hours? Right. Because they're allowed to say his... Well, no, because they were defending him, and that you know, was his defense. When you're accused, it's up to the police or it's up to the state. Yes, to, yes, to but, well, they, right. but they, the, weren't, the, they, they weren't allowed to bring forth any witnesses to show right, why you the, did wrong. <laughs> Phil, 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 I ask you a simple question. What were they afraid of? They weren't afraid of anything. Oh, obviously they were because they fought. Which was another magic bullet. God, I, I love your new sound. I love your I love your new soundboard because it can't talk over me. It, I, it mutes itself when I start talking. Well, I, that's the way it's set up. Uh, maybe maybe I gotta do something. Uh, I've got something to be able to do. I don't know. He's gonna go through soundboard number ten now. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Um, yes, Charlene. The other one. Alex. Okay. Just let me say real fast that I never got to say that he made me sick today when I saw Trump because it was like the Trump show. It wasn't like any kind of a. It was just like a show. He just kept going on and on. And when you just said that uh, Romney's a religious man, he went on and on today talking about, well, if Romney's such a religious man, I don't think he's so religious. Blah, 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 blah. And it was just like, it was like the Trump show. There was and no... on and well, on and on and just like, clearly. what he thinks about this, what he thinks about that. And I'm like... You just I just want to hear so it. Sick to my no, what we, what we, what we, what we, no, I think what I think what Charlene wants to hear, and I hate what, what, and that's what, no, what Charlene would like to hear to is a certain amount of humbleness. Why should he be humble when he's been attacked for three years by the left? Oh God! And, and no, these please. people, Phil, Phil, him. quit drinking the fucking Kool Aid, will you? Uh, it's, I'm not Kool Aid. Guys are drinking the Kool Aid. 
No, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't, if I say you're really drinking the Kool-Aid, the you can't come back with drunk. the same defense, okay, that I, I'm I, drinking the Kool-Aid. That's like, said, that's like me saying, you saying something and I say, well, so are you, and you say, so am I, you know, whatever. No, you didn't hear my yeah. last statement. I said, I, I'm here to make sure Rob you Rob know. just threw his microphone away. It must be that he's gotten frustrated. <laughs> he's Rob, sleep. you have like, something to say you here? Know, the, the Rob? problem is that he had just gotten done doing that earlier at the prayer breakfast, no less. Mm -hmm. Where you don't do it. Like Where Pelosi, you don't do it. Five feet away from him, he was only he was in a little bit more of a lowered tone and said Pelosi mm -hmm. was such an asshole. But I know. Well, then he just then three hours later he gets up on the podium with all his senator buddies. And talks even louder about how everybody's such an asshole and how all his buddies were so good. It was like he, he was waiting to to everybody. When you get done, when we get done with this meeting, we'll go line up over there by the door and we'll hand you. My, I'll hand you your checks. It was that kind of a meeting. I thought I was at a corporate meeting. Rob, at a, at a meeting after we just signed a big customer. Rob, that's you, what it sounded like. You know what I'm going to do, Rob? I'm going to do what you're doing. I'm just not going to watch the news anymore. I'm just going to stop it all. I mean, this is, know, you know, I I, it all it does shit. is depress me. And all I have to do is listen to this piece of shit open this fucking pie hole. <laughs> I am sick of the divisiveness. I said it yesterday when and, we were and, on, and, I'm in a very small area, small town. And there are a lot of Trump supporters here, right? Yeah. I went into a cigar shop the other day, and I had some really good, intelligent conversation with people, which I try to avoid around here. Yeah, I don't usually like to get into anything, yeah. but yeah. they were sitting around talking about it. But there were some people who made some really cogent points and people who pointed out what they don't like about Donald Trump, which yeah, but still gonna vote does. There I isn't the Donald Trump. That's what I'm saying. So you see what I'm saying? You, you know, it's just, you can't stonewall it. Yes, the left is not always right, but certainly Donald Trump with his flawed personality is far from right. And so many Americans have given up looking up to a leader because he's He's because he's a man of quality. Trump is not a man of quality. Well, I, I listened to him today, and he said something, and I, I, I turned off most of the speech, but he, this was a part of the speech I heard. And he was saying that the election that they went, we went through with he and Hillary was one of the dirtiest campaigns of all time. And he said, I agree. It was one of the dirtiest campaigns we've ever had. And then I stopped to think to myself and say, yeah, and why was that? Why was it so dirty? It wasn't. It wasn't because of the dirt that was being thrown around by Hillary Clinton. Otherwise, when he was stalking her on that stage, he would. She would have turned around and told him to shut the fuck up. And plus, we got a president who's a bad example to our youth, who goes around yes. on national television using the term bullshit. Yes. And, and <laughs> how do you defend that, Phil? Using the term bullshit on television. I bullshit. You know. No. She, how, no. No. How do you defend it? I asked you a question, Phil. Bleeped it. Well, he's, no, he's they something. didn't bleep it. In no, fact, on the on the NBC News tonight, they played it as the example of him saying bullshit. Well, I'm glad he said bullshit because he has scarred this country. Yeah. Donald Trump has and, and, and history did with and the, our see, government. He's, he's done the I, same thing to the dignity of the office that he did to the presidential uh, medal of honor or whatever that you thing you is called. Kids. You got kids, Daddy? Why does uh why does the president say bad words? That on TV, that how, word. How would you what answer that to your kid, Phil? Yeah, like, uh, what does he mean? He's you got, got a grab kid. How do you explain that? <laughs> I don't think bullshit's a bad word. I think it tells it like. Oh, oh, oh. Get real. Get real. Yeah. If your kid asked you that when he was four, five, six years old, Phil, what would let you me say? let me explain something to you, Phil. Oh, Phil, up. Phil, hold on a second. Let me explain <laughs> something to you. Yeah. Uh, I often said that the reason that you don't use words like that in polite company or in company in a group of people, is because there are some people there who might be bothered by hearing it, and that's why you don't use it, out of respect to people who might not like to don't hear that word. Polite. So don't vote for him. It's being polite. This man don't hasn't got a, a scintilla of politeness in him. That's good. I Don't vote for him. I, I guarantee, don't vote for him. He won't miss your vote. 
Oh, yes, he will. <laughs> Tony, who are you voting for? I'm going to tell you something. Come on. I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. I really don't have a problem with how he talks, Trump. I don't, because I'm going to tell you why. Well, that's because you're from I, Queens. Right. True, but I'm going to tell you something. I understand he doesn't. Let's be honest. I told this to Phil. He has no. He he's crass. We know that. But I'm going to tell you something. They what they don't like. To me, when I see Pelosi, I'm going to pray for everybody. She looks like an anti hand that had a like a little hoity toity with a finger up. She's poking him. He's not going to take her shit. After a while, what do you mean? He he's he's, he's getting. He, wait a minute. Hold he's on a second. Try to run Tony, and say, you know Tony, what? you couldn't be more wrong. He, he, she's getting under his skin constantly. But, she, but she's not because he can't shut crisp. up about her. He can't shut let's, up about her. Let's reduce let's American. Wait, 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 let, let Rob talk. Yes, Rob. Let's, let's reduce American politics to street brawls. Why don't we just but do she that? She ripped up the papers the other day. That look. That come yeah, on. You know, wait, you, after he refused to shake her hand. Hey, uh, she, I, I kind of like he Stone Cold. I'll tell you the truth. Well, yeah, but then she, then you should like the fact but that she, she ripped up the Pence fucking papers. And by the way, Pence had the greatest line. It was like she was ripping up the Constitution. Hey, hey, you guys forget Aaron Burr, Alexander Hamilton. You think that they didn't fight and have street fights in past? They shot each other. Yeah, but at least That's Hamilton got a Broadway show yeah, out of it. Uh, uh, I'm not saying. It's uh, right. Let me let me let me well, let me just say I I ahead. agree with with right. with with Rob about civility and that you know we've got to stop this. But the thing is that I don't think this division right. was started by anybody else but Donald Trump. He set the tone he for the country. It. It's made it like, worse. I yeah, say, you know, can I say something? Well, uh, no, let me let me finish what I'm saying, Tony. Let me finish what I'm saying. I, I was talking once to uh, uh, a guy who wrote The Elephant Man. We were talking about uh, about how he became a, a kind of a sensation in, in Europe. And then we started talking about styles and fashion. And I said, well, you know, how, how are styles and fashion set in the old days, and he said, if the king wore ruffles on his shirt, everybody started going around wearing ruffles on his shirt. He said, and I said, well, what is the equivalent today of that? And he said, movie stars, if they wear something, the public tends to start wearing those things. If we have influencers, that's one of the newer things in it. And this was Ashley Montague, who was the uh, sociologist who wrote the original book mm -hmm. of The Elephant Man, which, by the way, I got the rights to and then lost the rights to them. Anyway, the point was that um, uh, it, it is the person who is president of the United States who sets the tone and the tempo, the zeitgeist of the times. He sets the morality. He sets the how, how things sound and go. And this guy has really ruined our country that way because he I set know. a bad example by his example. You know, those long ties are pretty nice. And, you know, I think a lot... We're nice. <laughs> and you know, the farmer hat, you know, the MAGA hat. Yeah. You know, he's setting the tone. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That we long tie was okay, was created to hide it's his total. mushroom dick. What? It's a tone, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, tone. I wanted to say something about the handshake uh, and the, the Pelosi handshake. Yeah, I'm sure you I do. Look, I looked at the video, and what happened was he handed Pelosi a copy of the. Yeah. Speech he hand then yeah 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 and he turned around to her and he just didn't see it yeah. he, of the, the pence and then he turned around her hand was extended when his back was to her he didn't see her yeah. and, and he didn't shake pence's hand either mm -hmm. yeah. so uh i i think that this uh, whole thing over the handshake is nothing Big. more than uh you just didn't catch the camera angle like I did. I saw it. You know it. something? Yeah. If he gets reelected, no, dying no, no, of cancer may sound like a good, good idea to me. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, everybody else's microphone is louder than yours. Mm. I would have thought that he would have looked for a handshake. I like that she ripped it up. She was pissed. Well, you she said, wait a minute, a moment ago, a moment ago you said you didn't like the fact that she tore it up. That was a mistake. I did, but I'm like, did you, what did you, but then but you said you did me. like it. So we, we figure out which way you want to go on this one, Tony. <laughs> Actually, I don't like that Start. she did it. But part of me did it because I like the whole cat. I like this whole fight. 
I love it. He you, does. And that's, and that's, and that's the problem, Tony. That's, that's the problem with our I'm country. I'm enjoying it. I know. I, I'm enjoying it. What's going to happen next? It's like this a profile. Who are you country. voting for, Tony? This is your I fucking country. Say, but I, I don't want change. I'll tell you that. I want more of this. It's not a reality TV show. This is your fucking country. Hey, by the way, by the way, did you notice in that whole press conference today that the president had and he thanked everybody and so on, Giuliani wasn't mentioned? I wonder what that's all about. Is he, is he not on the A list anymore? Uh, probably wasn't a good thing to mention. I guess Giuliani had won too many press conferences. Uh, He's not in danger of any jail time. He's probably over in the Ukraine. The only people who are safe from Trump's ire are his family. Yeah. You're in and you're out. And when you cross him, you're off. That's it. Yeah, yeah, even if you're a son. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't stop. He's like, God, he'll just keep going after you. Is that guy bold the in trouble if he publishes Don't the book and all that? What would you say? Uh, what'd you say, Charlene? Is it Bolton that if he writes that Trump doesn't want him to come out with that book? Is that the guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're trying to prevent that. No, so he's going to publish it. So what's going to happen now? Trump well, apparently, gonna... apparently Trump is bothered. A selective leak. By the Democrats. Apparently, it, he's bothered by a lot of this stuff, and uh, he doesn't want certain things to come out. You yeah, know? absolutely. And uh, well, he's covering it up. He's trying to cover it up. In, uh, his advisors and and the president are supposed to be private. What he thinks, and what he does, and what he thinks, and what he asks, those things should be private to so allow the, to decisions. How come he's the only president that people are doing this to? Because you guys. Hate the fact that you lost the Wait election. Wait a minute, no. Phil. You're blaming it on nothing because I'm blaming all, it on you guys. Well, no, but you, you, for what it oh. doesn't. What you're saying makes no sense. They want him. Hold on. Like the people <laughs> around him were picked by him, and in some cases, second and third and fourth pick. Rob, the, those are not the left. They're they, the right doing this to him. The day he was nominated, you actually said. Hey, I think that what will happen is the electors that go to the convention may mutiny and not elect him. That was the first hope and prayer. And then that was true. Oh, but but, but you're not answering my question. Well, you're you're making another argument completely. All right, we can have that discussion. What I'm saying to you is his people, the people he chose to be close to him, Bolton, whomever, these people are leaking stuff. They're writing books. Why? This didn't happen to any other president. Right, yes, in fact, maybe that there's a question. fear factor there where they think, you know what? Now that they're out of the, you know, they're out of the fray because they crossed him, or maybe they had the balls to speak up, but they're out of the fray. Maybe they're finally saying, you know what? Maybe this isn't so good for this country. And now I think every uh, I think they're looking for a payday. Even you know uh, who was the woman that wrote the expose on JFK? Um, it's okay. more than a payday. These people are not hurting for money. I, no, I mean they got legal bills. Most of them. Gee, you know, we them, didn't even get to talk about. We question. didn't even get to really, <laughs> really. We didn't what even. Else? We okay. didn't even really get to the nitty gritty of Kirk Douglas. God. Spartacus. Oh, yeah. Spartacus. I mean, the, the fact oh, that Spartacus. no, the fact that uh, it's it's pretty well common knowledge in Hollywood that he raped Natalie Wood when she was fifteen. Oh, that's right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Say nobody that. ever says that. They go, "Oh, they have Spartacus." The great, you know, you know. I wonder what they're going to do for him Sunday now. Pro I probably him. rape somebody. They wheel him out. <laughs> oh, I hope they don't forget to mention him. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She will be well, at his funeral. That, that was that was one of the more uh, more pervasive uh, rumors running around Hollywood for years, and supposedly not uh, without merit. Oh, didn't Weinstein drop uh, his? He rested his case. He rested the defense no, no. after the witnesses. No. Who 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 was it? There were there were several. They rested the the the, the, the uh, um, what he called the. The, the the people that complained out on him. Yeah, yeah, they they finished that part of it. Now now the defense is going to start up on Monday. I thought his defense was just to rest. No. no, okay. No, not that I know of. Not what I heard. Not what I heard. Oh. Uh, boy, that's a good looking mic you got there, uh, Rob. Actually, this is not an expensive mic at all. What is it? This isn't Samson, my brother's company. Oh yeah, you told me that. C O one. It's it's. Uh, I think it's a um, hundred and change. This is not expensive. Really? Yeah. I have a Samson mic. I love it. 
Yeah, I mean they yeah. make nice lights. Hey, listen, uh, that's it for that's what it for tonight. Uh, thank you so much, uh, 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 Rob, for coming by tonight because uh, we needed you this evening. We you're the, you're the voice of that's huh? the problem. With this I I, 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 I have Ajita now because of it. Well, don't don't, don't get Ajita. Yeah, don't get Ajita. Just enjoy it. Go with it. Go with the flow. We love we love having you here, Rob. You're terrific, and get that studio together so we can have your voice back up doing promos, because uh, that's what we really miss. Uh, Charlene, th- thank you, pa- Phil. Uh, thank you, Charlene. Thanks to uh, Bree, who is just the mere shadow of himself right now. Uh, thanks, Rob. Thanks to Ray. Thanks to Jeff, who said hardly anything this evening, but was there all night. Uh, right. And you see, he's got a he's had a heart condition, Rob, and he's still in good shape here. Uh, uh, Man, and, and, and Tony, thank you, a future voter for Donald Trump, and uh, um, uh, Kevin, always good having you here. In fact, I'm good, right. I voted third party. Left. Good having all of you here. Why don't you all give a big wave goodbye, and we'll wave back at you. And there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight, and uh, we'll. Uh, uh, we'll uh, kill them for the uh, Skypes. Uh, so the next program, which is uh, Jack Bishop, and he has the intersection, can be here next. Okay. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night right after we do a little radiation and get all glowing for you at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight, uh, Eastern Time. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. Bye bye.